Star Trek the original series Court Martial Captain's Log Star Date two nine four seven point three We've been through a severe iron ion storm. One crewman is dead. Sheep's challenge is considerable. I've ordered non scheduled layover of Starbase eleven for repairs. A full report of damages was made to Commander Officer of Starbase eleven, Commodore Stone. Stone's office, Kirk, is not in his usual gold shirt, the green one, with gold braiding. Stone, maintenance, section 18. The section is working on the intrepid reschedule. Res- Enterprise is on priority one. That makes three times you re- read it, Jim. Is there an error? It's Kirk, no, but the death of the crewman. Stone, regulations, Captain. This is a from the ship's computer log, confirming this small deposition. Kirk, Kirk to Enterprise. You're a bridge here. Go ahead, Captain. Kirk, where's Mr. Spot with a computer log extract? Bridge, you're a... He should be been there ten minutes ago, sir. Stone's office. Kirk, Kirk out. Stone, it's great pity. Service can't afford to lose men like the tenant commander friendly. Kirk, I agree. I waited until the last possible moment. We were on red alert. The storm got worse. I had a justice in the pod. Two men transported to alcove. The corner activates. Kirk, what took you so long, Mr. Spock? Spock, Captain, I believe. Stone, I'll take that. He puts the data card in his computer. The door opens. A teenage girl dressed in blue enters. Kirk, Jamie. Jamie, there you are. Just wanted one more, t- wanted one more look at you. The man who killed my father. Kirk, that's not so. He, my, he was my friend, Jamie, your friend. You hated him all your life. That's why you killed him, you murderer. You murderer, you murderer. Dogs in tears, bone. Mr. Spock, could you please? Spock, Miss Finley, come with me, please. They leave. Stone, Captain Kirk, you were the same just as the pod after red alert. Kirk, you are my sworn definition. Stone, then, Captain, I presume you committed, committed willful perjury. Is that? That's right for your computer log. Says you just as the pod just before going to red alert. Consider yourself confined to the base. A visual query would determine whether a court martial. Is in order. Captain Log, star date 2948.5. Starship remains, remains in orbit out, around Starbase 11. Four repairs in progress have been ordered to stand by Starbase, by on Starbase 11 until the inquiry into the death of Lieutenant Commander Finley can be conducted. I am confident of the outcome. Starbase Club. Kirk and McCoy enter and go to the bar. Kirk Timothy. I haven't seen you since the Vulcan. Vulcan, alien explanation, no reply. Well, I see your graduating class from the academy is well represented, Corrigan. Tell her, how are you going, doing, Mike? Mike, an older gentleman in a gold shirt. I'll get by, Jim. Timothy, dark hair, red shirt. I understand you're laying off for a player's big job. Kirk, couple of days, Timothy. You moving out then? Kirk, in a hurry to see, see me go. Timothy, oh, I just wonder how long it would take to get a new records officer. Kirk, you can talk plainer than that, Timothy, I can. I think the point's been made. Ben was a friend of ours. McCoy, go on. Jim, let's go. Kirk, go on, finish, Ben. Was a friend of yours and McCoy, Jim. Kirk, go on, I'm waiting to hear the rest. Mike, why don't you, why didn't you tell us? Kirk, what would be the point? You already made your, your mind, excuse me, Bones. Leave but as a lady in a floaty green dress enters. McCoy, any doubt what that was indeed, Captain? If you have any doubt, that was indeed Captain James Kirkland Enterprise. Sure. Yes, I know. Are you a friend of his? McCoy. And there's, there were trying times, one of a few. Dr. Lennon McCoy. And you? Sure. Ariel Shaw. I'm a friend too. An old one, McCoy. All, all my old friends look like doctors. All of these look like you. Well, might as well join me for, you might, you might as well join me for a drink. It's quite coming up. He's going to need all the friends he can get. Stones off his computer. Recording, acquiring, matter. Captain Kirk, James T. Subject, circumstances of death. Lieutenant, Commander Finley, Benjamin. So this inquiry is determined whether a general court martial should be convened against Captain Kirk. Captain Kirk on charge of perjury and co- capable, culpable in the negligence. Kirk, ready, Stone, let us begin with your relationship with Commander Finley. You knew him for a long time, didn't you? 
Kirk, yes, he was an instructor in the company when I was a midshipman. He doesn't stand in the way of our beginning of a close relationship. His daughter Jamie, who was here last night, was named after me. So it's a common knowledge that something happened to a friendship. Kirk is no speaker, it was signed to the same ship. Some years later, I lead him on watch once, found a circuit open to an atomic matter piles and should have been closed. Another five minutes, we could have blown up the ship. Compared to that ship, no, no medical limits specify. Kirk, United States Ship Republic, number 1371. Stone continued. Kirk, I switched, closed the switch and logged at the instant. He drew a recommend and was sent to the bottom of the promotion list. So, and he blamed you for that? Kirk, yes, he had been at the company for an unusual long time as a instructor. As a result, he was late in being assigned to his shore ship. As lay, he felt looked bad in his record. My action, he believed, made things worse. Kirk, so, comment. Service so record of Lieutenant Commander Finney to be branded this inquiry. Could be detonated. Stone. Now let's get into the specifics of the storm, Captain. Kirk, whether, whether scan indicated an eye on stone, head, dead ahead. I sent Finney to the, into the pod. Kirk? Where Finney? Kirk, his name was at the top of the rotary roster. Stone? If he blame, if he blamed you, Kirk, he may have blamed me. But he never rose to command a ship. I don't assign jobs on a basis who blames me. It's Finney's turn. I assigned him. He just checked in with me. The pod, when we hit the leading edge of the storm, not too bad at first. I signaled the yellow alert and began encountering pressure, very stressful, seven, and works. I finally signaled the red alert. Finley knew he had a matter of seconds. I gave him those seconds more. Apparently, it wasn't enough. I don't know. And why, Captain, does the computer log for your ship make automatically, made automatically at the time, indicate it was still a yellow alert, then you jettisoned and not and they read on red. Kirk, I don't know. There's been a mistake. Stone, that doesn't seem so. Could the computer be wrong? Kirk, Mr. Spark is running a survey right now. On the odds of not on next to impossible stone. Don't recall it. Now look, Jim. Not one in a million could, not one million in a million could do what you and I have done. Commander Starship. A hundred decisions a day. Hundreds of lives start on what, on you making every one of them right. You played out, Jim, exhausted. Kirk, is that the way you, the way you see it? Stone, so, that's the way where I thought we'll read if you cooperate. Kirk, a practical breakdown. Possible men, even mental collapse. Probably, possibly. Kirk, I am admitting a man, man died because. Stone, so, admitting that, admit nothing, say nothing. Let me bury the matter. Here and now, no starship captain ever stood trail before. I don't want you to be the first, Kirk. But you have, uh, if you want, you suspect. But if you want, but what if what if but if what you suspect is true, I'm guilty. I should be punished. Stone. I'm thinking of the day of service. I don't. I won't have it smeared. Cut by what? Come on, little stone. Stone. All right. By the evident perjurer who's either covering his bad judgment, his cowardice, or cut. That's as far as you go, sir. I'm telling you. I was there on the bridge. I know what happened. I know what I did. Stone, if it's it's a transcript, the computer transcripts don't lie. I tell you, Captain, either you accept a permanent ground assignment or the whole disciplinary weight of the staff that come on is going to light right on your neck. Cut, so that's the way it will be now. But that's the way we do it now. Sweep it under the rug and move along with it. Not on your life. I tend to fight. Stone, then draw a quadrennial court. Kirk, draw it. I demand it. And right now, Officer Stone, right now, our uh, captain's log start dates 2948.9. The officers who compromise, compromise with so, court martial bold are proceeding to Starbase 11. Meanwhile, repairs and employees are almost complete. Starbase Club. Steve, Kirk goes to the table to the lady in green and kisses her hand. Kirk, agree, agree, Dr. McCoy said you were here. I said I should have felt you in it in the air, static electricity, sure. Flattery will get you everywhere. Kirk, it's been how long? Has it has been how long has it been? Sure, four years, seven months, not number of days. Not that I'm counting. Kirk, you look marvellous. You haven't changed a bit, sure, but things have changed for you, haven't they? Kirk, oh, you've heard about that, have you? 
Sure, I am a lawyer and a judge advocate. Office, remember? Kirk, I remember. Let's forget it. We have a lot, we have a lot of, lot of lost time to make up for. Sure, you're taking it light, very lightly. Sure. Confidence of an innocent man. Sure, are you? That's not under what the rumours indicate. Kirk, look, let's not talk shop. Sure, sure. Kirk, Jim, this could ruin you. Will you take some advice? Kirk, I could never, I could never could talk you into anything. All right, fire away. Sure, the prosecution will build its case on the basis of Kirk versus the computer. Now, if your attorney tries to defend that on that basis, you won't have a chance. Sure, Kirk, what other choice is there? Sure, that's up to your attorney. That's why he's got to be a good one. Sure, Kirk, you perhaps? Sure, no, I'm busy. Kirk, well, a girl with your buddy should be able to handle two cases at once. Sure, Jim, it'd be, be serious. You're not only human, you're a starship captain. You must, you have stepped into a scandal. If there's any way you can, they can do it, and slap you down hard and put me for good of the service, Kirk. You still haven't made my, haven't made any recommendation. Sure, sure. Samuel T. Cordley, attorney law, if anyone could save you, he can, he'll be paying you a visit, a visit. Jim, I've got to go, Kirk. Go real. You shouldn't have told me that. Still haven't told me how he knows so much about the prosecution's going to do. Sure, because, Jim Kirk, my dear love, old love, I am the prosecution. I have to do my very best to have you slapped down hard, broken out of service in disgrace. Kirk's room. Kirk is about to pour himself a drink. Cogley, you Kirk? Kirk, yes. Notice the piles of box everywhere. What is this, all this, Cogley? I figure we'll be spending some time together, so I moved in. Kirk, I hope I'm not proud of you, Cogley. What's the matter? Don't you like books? Kirk, oh, I like them fine. The computer takes less space. Cogley, a computer, huh? I've got one of those in my office. Contains all the precedents. The synthesis of a great legal discussion written uh, that throughout time. I never use it. Kirk, why not? Cogley, I have got my own system. Books, young women, young men, books, thousands of them. It's Time wasn't so important. I'd show you something with my library thousand books, Kirk. What about what would be the point, Cookley? This is where the law is, not the home of juries. Pasteurize, simplifies. You know what? Do you want to know the law, the ancient concepts of the old language? Our language learn the curt intent of the man who wrote to them. From Moses to Tribal of Tribunal, the Alpha Free books. Kirk, you have to to be even an obsessive crackback. Escape from his keeper or Samuel G. Courtley, turn it law, Courtley. Right on both accounts. Need a lawyer? Kirk, I'm afraid so. Courtroom, there are four officers in dress uniform and bandage. Cooling stone, stone. This is your court is now in session. I am appointed as members of this court. Cap Space, Command, Representative, Lindstone, Starship, Captain Kowalski, and Strandra. Captain Kirk. I direct your attention to the fact that you are right to ask the substitute officers if you feel that any of these names harbour any prejudice attributes attitude to your case. Kirk, I have no objection, sir. Kirk Stone, do you consent to the service of Lieutenant Shaw as a consistent officer to myself as a president of the court? Stone, I do, sir. Kirk Stone, all right, clerk. Computer, change capable in negligence. Certification is on that. Is that a star date 2945.7? By such negligence, Captain J. Kirk J. T. D. Calls loss of life to wit, the life of a radicals officer, Lieutenant Commander Finley Benjamin, to reveal all recorded charges and specifications, ways of plea, Kirk, not guilty, so we see, Lieutenant Shaw. I call Mr. Spock, Scott. Buck hands over his data chip, sits down and puts his hand on his line detector. Computer, Block serial number S1979-276, SP, service rank, lieutenant commander, position first officer, science officer, current assignment, USS Enterprise, accommodations, Vulcan, scientific legion of honor, and was of valor, twice decorated by Starfleet to come command. Sure, Mrs. Block, first officer, you know a great deal about computers, don't you? Block, I know all about them. Sure, is it possible computers are malfunction? If is it not? Sure, spot evaluative. Sure. Do you know of any malfunction which may have caused inaccuracy in a private computer? Spot negative. Sure. 
The answer is based on your medical mechanical survey, your own prize computer, ordered by the defendant prior to trial, is it not? Well, the affirmative. Star. But now the star data, Spock. But the computer is in that correct, unless, nevertheless. Sure. Why do you say that, Spock? It reports what the, the, the address button, repressed them for the red alert. Sure, in other words, it reports that Captain Kirk was acting extreme emergency and not even as this, then as this, Spock. But that is impossible, sure. Is it? Are you, were you watching him at that time he pressed the Jetson button? But no, it was compiled. The ship was already on the alert, sure. Then how can you dispute the finding of the log? But I did not dispute it. I merely state what is wrong, sure. Oh, what do you, what do you, oh, what do you base that state? Oh, oh what? Oh, on what do you spe- base that statement? Spock, I know the captain he is in. Sure. Please indicate the witness, not speculate. Please instruct the witness, no, no, not, not to speculate. Spock, turned. I am half Vulcan. Vulcans do not speculate. I speak from pure logic. I, if I let go of a hammer on a planet, then that it was a great positive gravity. I need not see it fall to know it if fact fallen. Sure. I do not see what that has to do. That what has to do has to do. I don't see what that what that has to 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 spot. Gentlemen, human beings have characteristics just in innate objects. Do is an impossible Captain Kirk to act out of panic or menace. He's not in his nature, Spock. Sure. Is it your opinion, Spock? Yes, in my opinion, Spock. Thank you, Miss Your Witness, Mr. Kogi. Kogi, no witness, no questions, Stone. You may step down, sure. I shall now call the personal officer of the Enterprise. So, okay, to service rank, ensign, person, officer, uh, current assignment, AOSS Enterprise, sure. In case of the duties as a, in the case of your duties as a personal officer of the Enterprise, you will be familiar with the service records of all aboard. Ensign, a young Asian woman. Oh, yes, ma'am. Sure, well, we wish, we wish reference to the records office. Finney was there in the service record and reported this pre action of failure to close the circuit. I answered, yes, madam, sure. Was the charge that, is that incident based on a log entry by the officer who lead him? I say, yes, madam, sure. And who was that officer? Inside, inside, James T. Kirk. Sure, sure. Ladder, please, for the court. Court, turn, inside, inside, James T. Kirk. Sure. Now the captain, Kirk, now, the Captain Kirk, who sits in this courtroom, is sure, yes, madam. Sure, thank you. Do you wish common cross examination, Mr. Cookley? Cookley, no questions. Stone, you may step down. Sure, I'll call you Dr. McCoy to stand. Give you the service rank, Lieutenant Commander, position, ship, surgeon, surgeon, current, employment, USS Enterprise, accommodations, Legion of Honor, Order of Awards of Valor, dedicated by Starfleet Surgeons, Sure, Doctor, you are on the record as an expert in philosophy, psychology, essentially space psychology, patterns in which development of close quarters of the ship during long voyages in deep space, of course. I knew, I know something about it. Sure, you must have heard us test me, the own personal officer, with an action of an ensign cut, and placed an irresistible blot on the record, or my of the then Lieutenant Finley. First of all, Doctor, is it possible that Lieutenant Finley blamed Kirk for the, ac- the accident? McCoy, it's possible. Sure, it w- could have taken, you know, he Kirk down there, down through the walls, blamed him for being passed over by a promotion, blamed him for ever being given a command on his own correct, kind of, to his own correct. McCoy, we could have. Could have, sure. Now let us hypothesize, Doctor. There is a normal person, person return. Sure. Now let me see. That is a hypothesis, Doctor. Is it is normal for person for of return affection for hatred? McCoy, no. Sure, you don't tend to reverse resentment. 
They disrespectfully dislike the person who hates us. McCoy, wait a minute. I didn't quite follow you. Sure, hit for Would you not? Why not? Would not Colonel Arn, Colonel, Captain Smith begin to hate Lieutenant Commander Jones once he learned that Lieutenant Commander Jones hated and detested him? McCoy, yes. Well, yes, I suppose it could happen. Sure, then I ask you, is that possible Captain Kirk became aware of Lieutenant Commander's for his hatred to all the other pranks and then even a voluntary going to reciprocate? McCoy, not with Captain Kirk, sure, not, not any normal human doctor. Is it possible, McCoy, he's not that kind of a man, sure. Is it virtually possible, doctor? McCoy, yes, it's possible. Sure, thank you. Your witness, Mr. Cogley. Cogley, no questions. So, you may step down. Mr. Cooley, you must listen to testimony from three witnesses and even since have you availed yourself the right to cross the examine? Have you retrogated the that right? But Cooley, no, no, sir, the full truth is, then hold him back till we get the primary business away. I'd like to call Captain Kirk to the stand. You read it, Captain T. Kirk, serial number SC9737-0170. Dash O set one seven six C E C Service Rank Captain Position Staff Ship Command Current Assignment USS Enterprise Combinations Palm Leaf of Adaskana Peace Mission Granite Order of the Tactics a Class of Excellent Paphras Ribbon Accommodation Classes First and Second Sure may it please the court stone Court recognizes counsel for the for the prosecution, sure. Prosecution receives this and more, in reverse, and more record of Captain Kurt. Don't, Mr. Cookley. Cookley, I don't want to show the wheels of progress. But then, on the other hand, I want, don't want the wheels to run over my client and then some bridal haste. So continue, computer walls of valor, manitou of vena, silver palm and cluster of star feet, cluster of for clusters, cupidious gallantry, kindred order of heroism, Curly, stop. I think I've had that's enough. I don't I wouldn't want to slow things up too much, sure, thank you. Cugly. Now Captain, despite what, what the machines indicate. Was there indeed a red alert before the dirty dress of the pod? Kirk, yes, sir, there was. Cugly. Please tell us about it. Kurt, firstly, I am at loss to explain the errors of the exact stress strength and computer log. He would not install. Anyone in this court knows the danger involved over the command. The decisions were mine. No one else. Changes of malice have been raised. There's no malice. Command, Lieutenant Commander Finley was a member of my crew, exactly the way he was treated. It had been suggested I had panicked on a bridge and jettisoned the iron pod prematurely. That was not so. You heard some of the details of my record. Now, this is not my first crisis. It's one of the many. During it, I did my, what my experience and training required me to do. Took the proper steps and proper order. I did exactly what had to be done, exactly what it should have been done. Coolly, you did the right thing, but would you do it again? Kurt, given the same senses, I'd do the same thing without hesitation. Because the steps I took in the order, I took them, were absolutely necessary. But if I were to save my ship, Nothing is more important than my ship. Quickly, you witness Miss Shaw. Sure. The prosecution does not wish to dishonour this man. But the facts are facts. I must invite the attention of the court. The Captain Kurt is visual extract from the computer enterprise computer log. Payback. What about what we're about to see is precisely what took place when the enterprise bridge during the iron storm bridge on the occult room woo screen. We are a meteorology reports of an iron storm coming up uh, coming, Captain. Kurt, we need somebody in the pod for readings. Spot, Mr. Finley, you top of the duty. Captain, Kurt, post him. Spot, attention, Commander Finley, report to pod for reading on iron plates. Finley, a message received. Spot, officer posted, Captain, ship Sunny Jones. Kurt, stand by for alert. That is Mr. Spock. Spot, acknowledge. Hanson, acknowledging iron storm, sir. Kirk, alt vector one, Mr. Hanson. Hanson, walk factor one. There's another sharp jerk and passes a button. 
On a chair panel. 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 Caught with him. Show the first stop. Go forward. Modification of panel. Freeze that. Catch the guns. This signal will get alert. Go forward. View. Signal. Combine. Normal view. Bridge. And come up. Come up. Caught with him in view screen. You're Call them for the pod, sir. Cut tie in. Finny, Finny here, Captain. I don't mean to focus, Kirk. Make it fast, Ben. I may have to go to Red Alert. Finny, firm tentative. Kirk, hold your course, Mr. Hanson. Answer, aye, aye, sir. Natural vibrations, force two. Captain, force three. Kirk, for engineering, then iron pod. You're right? Aye, aye, sir. Cumin, engineering, Kirk. One third more thrust, Cumin, working. Finley, iron pad. Kirk, stand by to get out of there, Ben. Finley, aye, aye, sir. Hanson, aye, it's five, sir. Kirk, steady as he goes, Mr. Hanson, and close up the captain, and closes up the captain's panel shows. And the close up the panel panel shows, courtroom. Sure, freeze that is a court will notice the log plainly states the defendant's finger pressing the Jackson button. The position signal reads yellow alert, not red alert, but simply yellow alert. The pod contains the Colonel Commander for Lewis Jetson. The virtue did not yet exist. Kirk, that's not, that's not the way it happened. Captain's log, Stardate 2949.9. The evidence presented by visual playback to my general court, court marshal was damning. I suspect that even my attorney began to doubt me. Kirk's room, Codley. Computers don't lie, Kirk. Are you suggesting that I did? Codley, I'm suggesting that maybe you did have a lapse. It's possible you know you are with the strain you're under. It's all the time to change your plea. I could give you, can get you off, Kirk. Two more, two days ago, I would state everything on my judgment. Collie, you did. Your professional career. Kirk, I spent my whole life training for decisions. Just like that one. My whole life. Is it possible that even in when the moment came? No, I, I know that's what I did. You can pull it, pull it out to you. What, what, what of it? If you want, Cookley, there's no place to go except back to court and hear the verdict. Kuna Greater beats Kirk. Captain, Kirk here. Bridge, but Captain, Bridge, Captain. But I have run a complete mental survey of the computer. Kirk's room. Kirk, I'll tell you what, you found nothing, right? Bridge, Spot, you sound bitter, Captain. Kirk's room. Kirk, not bitter enough to forget to thank you for your efforts, Bridge. Because Spot, photo instructions, Kirk's room. No, it's not all bad, Mr. Spot. Who knows? You may beat your next captain to chess. Kirk out. Spot. Bridge. Spot. Chess. Kirk's room. The door opens. Kirk. Jamie. It's a tenant commander. Finney's daughter. Jamie, Mr. Connolly, you've got to stop this. Make him a grand, take a grand statement. I realise it wasn't his fault. I won't make any trouble. Make him change his plea. Kirk, it's not too late for that. Jimmy, I'm glad you don't blame me anymore for what happened. Jimmy, it was just so upset. I was just so upset that night. I'm sorry. Kirk, don't say any more. Jamie, but I have to. I never realised how close you and Dad had been until I read through some papers you wrote, letters to your mother and me. I didn't, didn't know I ever could have thought about you, Mr. Godley. Running in the engine wouldn't change what's happened. Cookley, that's very comfortable, Miss Finley. But the most unusual, not, but most unusual. After all, Captain Kirk is accused of uh, causing your father's death and evidence would indicate his guilt. Jamie, I was thinking, I was just thinking of Jim. Kirk, I know. I thank you. I have to go, f- I have to go and change. You ready, Cookley? No. But I may be getting ready. Briefing room, computer, Bishop, half left, right. McCoy, well, I had to see it to believe it. Spot, I must blame McCoy. You're about to top, lop off your captain's professional head, and you're sitting here playing chess with a computer. Spot, that's true. McCoy, Mrs. Spot, you must be the most culpable man i ever known. Spot, why thank you, Doctor. I just won my fourth game. But McCoy, that's impossible. Spot, observe for yourself. Look to King's Bishop. Pawn four. Give it a bishop. Half level right. But now this is the computer's move. Now nine takes talks to the bishop. Checkmate. Mechanically, the computer's flawless. Therefore, logically, the portal captain's guilt is available. I could not accept that, however. Okay, so you tested the program bank. 
not exactly a programmed it myself for chess seven months ago. The best I could do was able to obtain was a draw, McCoy. Well, why are you just sitting there? Spot treasure room. Stand by. We're beaming down. Courtroom. Stone. Court is now in session. The board will entertain motions before delivering its verdict. Counsel, put a subscription. Sure, sir. Put a subscription. Red stone. Counsel of defence. Coolly, sir. The defence rests. Coin spot run in a whisper to Kurt and Coolly. Stone. Mr. Coolly. Mr. Coolly. Coolly. Sir. Some new evidence has been brought to my attention. I'd like to ask the court to store objection, co- co- objection to counsellor. The defence has rested its case. Stone, of what nature is, is this evidence? Colley, I can't tell you. I have to show you. Sure, Mr. Colley, it's a well known for his forastics. Colley, is saving an innocent man, career forastic. Stone counsellors will kindly direct their remarks to the bench. Colley, I'd be delighted to, sir, but I've got something human to talk about. Right. Right, sir, human rights, the Bible, the Code of Humanity, the Justice, Magna Carta, the Constitution of the United States, the Amendment of the Declaration, the Martian Colonies, the Statues that are for free, gentlemen, the documents all speak of rights. Rights shall accuse of a trial by his peers to be rendered by counsel, a right to cross an amortization, and most importantly, a right to be confronted by the witnesses against him, a right to which my client has been denied. Sure, your honour, that's ridiculous, we produce the witness is in the court, my learned component had the opportunity to see them, cross the them, clearly all but one, the most devastating witness against my client is not human, being is a machine, informative information system, and a computer log of the enterprise can ask this court to adjourn, to read King Ball, read the very board of that end vessel, show I, for a test, your honour, clearly and I repeat, I speak of rights, she has none, a man must, my client was brought as a right to face his accuser. You have to not, if you do not want him that right, you have brought us down to the level of the machine. Indeed, you have elevated the machine above us. I ask my emotion be granted, and no more than that, gentlemen. In a mechanical reality, fading in the shadows of the match machine, I demand it, I demand it. Captain Long, Stardate 2950.1. After due consideration, the court and court marshals. Has revealed aboard the Enterprise, briefing room, Codley. How many names of chess did you win with the computer, Mr. Spock? Spock, five and all, Codley. How may that be considered unusual? Spock, affirmative, Codley, why? Spock, I personally programmed the computer for chess months ago. I gave the machine an understanding of the game equal to my own. Computer could not make an error and assuming I did that, I did not either. If the best that could normally be hoped for would be stalemate or after stalemate. It would beat the machine five times. Someone either accidentally or deliberately just to program it. And therefore, the memory breaks of that computer. Clay, could you have, uh, could that have an effect on the visual playback we saw? Straw, a rejection. Witness could be making a conclusion. Stone sustained. Coldly, hypothetically, Mr. Smock, hypothetically, Miss Shaw, if you want, you, if you suggest that it been done, been done, it would, could be beyond the capabilities of most men. Is that true? But the affirmative. Curly, what man aboard ship would could not? It would not be beyond. Spot the captain himself and the records officer. Curly, and at the moment you had no records officer. Spot the affirmative. Until he was lost, our records officer was lieutenant commander Finley. Curly, Captain Kurt, will you tell the steps you took to find Mister Finley after the storm? Kurt, I instructed a phase one search. Curly. Describe a phase one search. Kirk is painstakingly and thorough attempt to in around the ship to find a man who's presumably injured and they will respond. Kirkley, is it proposes? Does it not that a man wishes not to that a man wishes to be found? Kirk, I beg your pardon, Kirkley. If you start to search for a man, you assume, don't you? He wants to be found. You think he's not hiding. Kirk, yes, Kirkley. On a ship this size, could a man evade such a search? Cut possibly, coldly, gentlemen. I submit to you that the commander Ben Finley is not dead. Bridge, stone, Mr. Coley. We are waiting for proof of the extraordinary statement you made in the briefing room. Coley, you shall have it. But first I need to cooperate in this court in conducting experiment. Cut to Kirk. Kirk, gentlemen, the purpose of this experiment is necessary for all the personnel set for the members of the court and the command crew. To lead the ship, I'm ordering all the others to report to the transport room. Coley, including myself. 
Don, this court is by no means adjourned, Mr. Cooley. Cooley, I have an errand of sure a most vital points purpose is court, and I shall, shall will return, Cooley. Stone, very well, Cooley. Thank you, sir. These are the spare crew members, Stone. Captain, you're maintaining an engine crew aboard? Kirk, our impulse engines have been shut down. We have maintained orbit by momentum, Koretsky. And when orbit decays, Kirk, we hope to be finished long before that, a little later. Kirk, Miss really, Mr. Spock? Spock, referring to Captain. Kirk, gentlemen, this computer is a draw tree sensor. It can, in effect, hear sound, but the selling booster can be true, increase that capability to an order of one, of one of the powerful power. Crews should bring us every second on the current in the ship. Crewmen, all personnel have left the ship and not ordered, sir. Dr. McCoy, all right, Mrs. Spock. A colonel offering in heartbeats comes in for the bridge beaters. Beakers, Kirk, turn it down a little, gentlemen. That sound is called by heartbeats. All the men, people on board the ship, Dr. McCoy, use his white noise device to mask out every person's heartbeat so it can be eliminated from the sounds we are hearing. McCoy, first the captain, Mr. Spock. He goes around an assembled group one at a time. McCoy, at last, just himself. Kirk, it's all of us, except for the crew men in the uh, transport room. Mr. Spock eliminated his heartbeat. That counts for everyone. But there were still one heart beats over the speakers. Stone, Finley, Kirk, locate that. But B deck in the near, near the end of engineering. Kirk, seal off B deck. Richards, sections 1 8 Y through over 23 D. But the knowledge bone. So Finney's alive, Kirk. It would seem so, Commodore. This is my problem. I appreciate it. If no one left the bridge. Corridor armed with a phaser gun. Phaser. Kirk makes his way alone. Kirk. Sam Crowley has done gone to shore to leave James Finney on board. He felt Jamie's presence would make Finney easier to handle an event Finley really were, were alive. Kirk Ben Corridor. Armed with the face of Kirk makes his way alone. Kirk. Sam Colin has been gone ashore to bring Jim Femi Fenny aboard. We felt Jimmy's presence would make Finley easier to handle. Then Finley really had well alive. Kirk Ben. Bridge. Kirk Ben Finley. Hence Mr. Spot entering counting variants. Spock very compensates. Sure. What does that mean? Stone the actually is beginning to cane. Kirk's conjuring. Ben, where are you? Where are you? Finley. Hello, Captain. Bridge. Finley. Nothing is to say. Finjuring. Finley. Captain. Kirk, I'm glad you're alive. Finley. You mean you'll leave because you t- think your career is safe? Well, you're wrong. Kirk, Ben. Ben, it's not too late. We all can help you. Finley. Like you help me along, keep it down, Bridge Finley. Rob me of the own command. Engineering Finley. I'm a good officer, as good as you. I watched you for years, the great Captain Kirk. You finally see the man as he jabs a phaser in the fact that it cuts back. Finley. They told me to do it to him, me. You always conspired against me. You ruined me. But he won't do it anymore. He disarms Kirk and throws the weapon away. Kirk turns to face him. Kirk, put the face down, Ben. Finley, oh, I wouldn't kill you, Captain. Your own death would mean too little to your, you, but your ship. Kirk, what about my ship? Finley, it's dead. I killed it. I, I tapped out, I, I tapped out your primary cir- energy circuits. Kirk, Mr. Spot, what's your orbit? Oh, but status, Kirk Rage. But decaying, Captain. Hence, and variants of new second level. Engineering. Finley, Hanson. Decreating usually usual fast. Finley, you've got out of power. I've, I've known the ship too. Anybody should have been mine. You've kept me from it, Kirk Ben. Why kill innocent people? For the innocent? Officers and gentlemen, captains all, except for Finney, who's done my one mistake. I mean, a long way, time ago, but they won't, don't forget it. Kirk, I have loved them as a mistake, Ben. Blame me, not them. Bridge, Finley. But there you are, they are to blame, all of them. Finney, Finney, I was a good officer, I really was. I loved the service more than any men ever did.
bridge, handsome. Mr. Spock, we're running out of time, Spock, gentlemen. If you please help me to transport them, Spock. Mr. Spock, the court has not reached a verdict. We will hear this witness out. But very well, sir. Engineering, Kirk, is not too late. It can be helped. But it will, if you, it, but if you kill those people, Finney, why shouldn't I? They killed me, didn't they? It's fair trade, Kirk. Is Jamie included in that deal, Finley? What do you mean, Kirk? She's on board by now. She's on board. Finley, what? What did you do? What did you do that? Why did you do that? Why did you bring her here? I'll kill you, Kirk. Takes the opportunity to grapple with the bigger man. The fight in which Kirk's shirt gets pulled, gets torn. The new swings at Kirk, Kirk with a wrench. A funny, he has his light punched out, Kirk. Beating the sobbing, Finley told me, where you sabotaged the prime energy circuits. Jeffrey's tube, Kirk. My image is called as credible, not repairable. The luck, I'll be able to affect repairs. Your four orbit decades completely. For repairs, read fully in cables out of junction boxes. Bridge. Hanson. Power returning, Mr. Spock. Up 14 points of rising spot. Activate port impulse engines. One third power. Euro takes navigation. Hanson, one third power. Euro. Variance fading. Hanson, orbit stabilizing. Euro. All secure, sir. Stone. Unless the prosecution has an objection, a rule this court is to be dismissed. Sure, absolutely. No objection, sir. Lady Kirk is a fresh, in a fresh show shirt. Talking quietly to Vale. In front of the turbo lift. Doors around him. It's business as usual. Sure. How long is it, will it be this time before I see you again? Kirk, at this risk of sounding like a mystic, depends on the stars. Sure. Sam Crane asked me to give you this something special. It's not a first edition, just a book. Sam says that makes it makes it special. It's Kirk, I don't have much of the chance to thank him. Sure, he's busy on the case. If any Ben Finley, he says he win. Sure, I wouldn't be surprised, sure. Do you think you would cause a complete round of discipline? A Veloni lieutenant kisses a starship captain, a bridge, a ship, Kirk. Let's try a gentle but lingering kiss. See? No change. Discipline goes on. Sure. And so much enterprise. Goodbye, Jim. Sure. Kirk, goodbye, your hell. Better luck next time. Sure, I had pretty good luck this time. I lost, didn't I? He leaves, blowing him a final kiss. He pulls himself together. Go to his chair and sits t- between the two stony faced officers. Kurt, she's a very good office lawyer. Kurt, but obviously McCoy, indeed she is. <laughs>